This is a very polarizing debate. One side says that fluoride in water is known to prevent tooth decay, while the other says that fluoride is toxic and has resulted in deaths from acute poisoning. In 1945, Grand Rapids, Michigan became the first community in the world to add fluoride to its water supply. After this, subsequent studies found that school children had a significantly lower rate of cavities. Water fluoridation then spread to other towns and cities. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention even named community water fluoridation one of the 10 great public health achievements of the 20th century. Health concerns expressed by opponents have largely been dismissed until recently. Now, evidence is mounting that in an era of fluoridated toothpaste and other consumer products that boost dental health, the potential risks from consuming fluoridated water may outweigh the benefits for some individuals. Last summer, for the first time in 53 years, the U.S. Public Health Service lowered its recommended levels of fluoride in drinking water. We do know that fluoride itself is dangerous at high levels. Excessive fluoride causes changes in tooth enamel that range from barely noticeable white spots to staining and pitting. Fluoride can also become concentrated, weakening the skeleton. Preliminary research suggests that high levels of fluoride may be toxic to the brain and nerve cells. This has led to possible links to learning, memory, and cognition deficits. It should be noted, however, that many of these studies have focused on populations where fluoride exposure is higher than those typically found in U.S. tap water. More testing needs to be done, as several U.S. Surgeon Generals and the American Medical Association have endorsed the use of fluoride in water, and they call it safe and effective. If you're convinced, though, that you still want fluoride out of your home's water, there are options to remove it with water filtration. The most inexpensive way to remove it from your drinking water is with reverse osmosis. Like U.S. Water Systems Cobalt RO, this under-the-sink RO system will remove hundreds of contaminants like chlorine, lead, pesticides, and fluoride. The only downside is this will only be for drinking water. The rest of your home's water, like your shower, will still be untreated. For that, U.S. Water also provides whole house water filtration with fluoride removal. It is a larger investment than the RO system, but will give you peace of mind that not only will you be not be drinking fluoride, you also won't be bathing in it. So, do you want fluoride in your water? Is it safe, or do the potential harmful risks outweigh the benefit? Draw your own conclusion. But if you want it removed, U.S. Water Systems can do it.